guys, today is going to be kind of like a collective haul. I've been shopping and storing things away, waiting to wear them until I could film this haul and today is the day finally. I've actually worn some of the things but I've washed some and whatever. Anyway, so I was thinking what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you kind of things collectively instead of this all came from one store and this all came from another store. What I'm going to do is show you like all the pants and then all like active wear, shoes, tops, etc. So we're going to start with pants. I have lots of pants to show you. The first pair are these True Religion jeans that I got while thrifting. They're kind of like a boot cut. I don't own anything boot cut. I find it's a little bit awkward. And they're this kind of washed out color. Just like a medium blue denim. They are the Billy and they are size 31 and they fit me perfectly. Now I tried these on and I wasn't really sure about them. They were $8 at the Goodwill I think and I was with my girlfriend and I was kind of like, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> Even though they're you know, designer, she's like, you have to get them. So anyways, we go to the cash and they ended up being 50% off. So I got these for $4. Boom. Okay, next are these black skinnies that I got from Urban Planet. They are just literally black skinnies, five pocket, super stretchy. They're called Brazil. Super stretch, low rise jegging. The pockets in the front are faux. We'll accept this little baby one but there are actual pockets in the back. I got them in a size extra large. They come extra small to extra large and I got the biggest size, <laughs> but that's okay. Just buy what fits you. Don't look at the size, you know? And these were 20 bucks. I've already worn them. They need to go in the wash. Super comfortable and really like you can never have too many black pants or I find they fade out so quickly and once black pants start to fade, like you can dye them or you can buy something else. And for 20 bucks, I know I'm gonna get a ton, a ton of use out of them. Next are these two pants from Smart Set. They're kind of like a chino pant. This one's a cornflower blue color and they've got just kind of slit pockets on the back and they're just kind of a skinny leg and I like to roll the bottom up but like not perfectly just kind of scrunch it up and make it look like you didn't try but you actually did and I love these I actually have them in a pale yellow which you would have seen in a previous video on the plasterlines channel where I vlog for I got those in the spring and I love them so much these finally went on super sale they were originally $45 and then they were marked down to 35 plus an additional bleh, <laughs> plus an additional 50% off. And then this red color, it's kind of like a coral red. I just wore these ones, they need to go in the wash, but these do stretch out quite a bit throughout the day. So I would say buy your size, I bought a size eight, but either if they stretch out too much, throw them in the dryer instead of hanging them to dry, or if you can size down, size down, but the waistband doesn't really stretch out. It's just like the legs and the butt area. And then lastly for pants, I just picked up these kind of burgundy maroon colored skinnies from Sirens. They've got the zippers on the bottom, which I love. If you saw my vlog from this past weekend and week, you would have seen these. I think that's gonna go up before this video. So they are in there. I love the zipper pockets on the side and then there's flap pockets on the back. And those are actually sewn shut, so you can't, can't uh, tuck those pockets in, but that's okay. I got these in a size nine and they were $22. Like that's so awesome. And burgundy slash maroon is gonna be huge for fall along with navy oh and they have these little like stitch kind of along the knee which i kind of like it kind of gives it a moto feeling moving on i picked up this pony hair leopard print belt from cleo recently it's just like a skinny belt and this one is big enough to fit around my hips i got it in an extra large everything i'm buying is like extra large no, but this was originally $28 and they were having a store closing sale, so I got it for seven. Okay, I got one dress to share with you guys. It is this vintage Nicole Miller wool dress. Still has this, I've washed this, but anyways. I picked this up at the thrift store. Because menswear is gonna be so huge this fall, I thought I would get this. I think I paid $3 for it. It was originally six and then it was 50% off. Now it's got a three quarter length sleeve with a snugger hemline like at the bottom. The sleeves are a little bit billowy but not too much because it is like a thicker tweed fabric. There used to be shoulder pads, I ripped those out. It's got kind of buttons all down the front which go just past the waistline and then it hits just kind of above the knee. The lining is hanging out right now but it won't once I steam it. Back has this pretty pleat here 
and the really nice waistline. So like I said, it was $3. I'm not really sure how much wear I'm gonna get out of it, but I think for work, it'll be really nice. Maybe under a blazer, that'll probably be too hot, but maybe put like an Oxford underneath or a turtleneck, that also might be too hot, so I might just wear it kind of open, but I think that would be kind of sexy. Plus it's very um, businessy and just chic, and it will fit in with the trend of menswear. I picked up one baby item from the thrift store and I know this is gonna sound crazy because I don't have a baby but I could not resist getting this. It's this cute little crochet jacket sweater cardigan. I don't know but it's absolutely adorable and it was two dollars and it's clearly handmade so I threw that in the wash and I thought I'll either give this to someone or I'll keep it for when I have my own baby if I ever have my own baby. The jury's still out on that one but it was just so cute. I just had to get it because someone's baby will enjoy or the parents of the baby will enjoy seeing their baby in this. Does that make sense? Shoot, tops. We're gonna talk about tops. Tops! I have four tops to show you. The first one is this wool cardigan from Le Chateau. It's just gray. I got this thrifting and it's kind of ruched down the center here where the buttons are. And I think I paid $4 for this. It was 50% off the original price. I've worn it a couple times already. It's a size large and I love this. I love gray though. Like I just love, love, love gray. I love neutrals. Like I love color, but I really, really love neutrals. So and this is perfect. I have a few gray cardigans already, but they're all different styles. And I just find these are great for the weekend or work and they just kind of pair perfectly over just about anything. Then from Joe Fresh, if you saw my vlog two vlogs back, you would have seen this when I was actually at Joe Fresh and then I kind of did a mini haul when I was in the car. So it's navy blue and it's kind of sheer, hello. And then it's got like a drawstring at the bottom, which I'll never use. And three quarter length sleeve, size medium, and this was $29. But it actually had a store credit, so I used it towards this, so I didn't pay anything. And then also from Joe Fresh, you saw in that vlog, is this peach tank top. It's just a racerback peach tank top, cute under cardigans or sweaters. That was $8, and I got that in a size small. And the last top is this really pretty white, floaty, flowy, three quarter sleeve top friendly so it's got the buttons down the front with the pocket sleeve is like that no collar i'm not really a big fan of collars i prefer without back looks like that it's a little bit high low and i just love this and i've been dying to wear this so i'm glad that i'm finally like hauling this and getting it out of the way so i can finally wear this i got it in a size medium and it was 1680 bathing suits i recently picked up a new bathing suit from our den if you follow me on instagram You've already seen it, and this is it. I love this. So it's kind of like a bustier style top. It's got a removable strap that goes around your neck, and you can see at the back, that is not adjustable. It's just a big black band, which I really, really love. Again, it's from our den. I think it was two for 15. I got both pieces for $15 total for the bikini, which is amazing. The fit isn't amazing like it could definitely be better but for $15 whatever and I just loved it so much now this the top I got in a size medium and then the bottoms look like this oh I'm in love with the bottoms they've got this fringe on the side it's kind of like a macrame side piece here and you just tie that up they kind of remind me of the Miko swimwear but obviously those ones are way nicer <laughs> But I love Arden, and the bottoms I got in a size large. And then before I even got that Arden bikini like a week earlier, I picked up this top from Dynamite. Now I already have this swimsuit in like a mint green. I'm not sure if you would have seen it in my Minor Vieira Mexico vlog several months ago because I had it back in March when I went there. But I saw this on sale at Dynamite and I thought, you know, you can never have too many black tops black bathing suit tops or bottoms because you can mix and match bleh, mix and match them and I have these really cute black and white bikini bottoms from Victoria's Secret and I never had like a good black top so I thought this would be really great and the reason that I bought it was it's in my size which is size medium and it was $12 instead of $24. I'm sweating. Oh my god it's so hot. I picked up one pair of shoes recently they are these ones from Forever 21. They 
are kind of similar to a heel that Zara did I think about a year ago or less than a year ago. It's got the double strap here. This one's kind of like a pewter color and then the nude straps and then it's got a super super chunky heel which I love. Like I really like skinny heels and skinny wedges. I don't like chunky shoes at all and my mind is totally shifting into a chunkier style shoe and footwear. These were $39.90 they actually have my size, size 10 and I was like sold. I am getting those because they're nothing like I own already and I think we're going to see a major shift into chunkier style duh, footwear especially for fall. I kind of already said that. Yeah. You watch. You're going to see thicker heels. And it's funny because I wore these and my best friend was like, mmm girl, because I know she hates chunky heels and she will point out women in chunky heels and kind of be like, uh. she's like, that is not a good look. You know who you are. And I'm telling you in six months from now, I'm going to see you rocking a chunky heel. And then I'm going to be like, I told you so. Just saying, just saying. And lastly is active wear. I picked up two sports bras. One is from Forever 21. It's this really pretty blue color. It's got a mesh panel in the back, which I don't mind. That was in a medium for $15.80. The other one is so exciting because I don't own, well, from Lululemon I own a few things, but I've only ever bought one thing from there, I think, which is some white yoga pants, which I like hardly ever wear because they're white. And you certainly wouldn't wear those to the gym because they're gonna get dirty or you're gonna sweat through them and everyone's gonna see your butt. I got this, I think it's called the free to be, free, I'll link it down below. This sports bra, I love the back of it. It's so pretty. I got it in this awesome lime green color. I wanted the white one, but I had to pick and choose. It's just so bright and I love wearing bright colors to work out. And I love how this will also double kind of as a bondo under tops on the weekend and stuff like that. Kind of like what I'm wearing today this whoops sorry I just hit you this bondo I love wearing kind of sports bras and it's kind of nice to wear bondos and like bralette style tops instead of a regular bra every once in a while I'm kind of obsessed with bralettes right now so this is right up my alley okay so that's everything hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks for watching see you guys next time bye